this episode, we're going to answer a viewer question about cold or spark plugs. But first, be sure to subscribe, and if you want more content, check out our Patreon page. All right, I got a Facebook message from a viewer asking about cold or spark plugs. What do they do, and do they help make power? This is a great question, and it's a common topic in car forums and the Facebook groups. Well, spark plugs in general are always a controversial topic. Copper versus iridium, hotter versus colder, single or multiple electrodes, brand versus brand, and plenty more. In this episode, we're just gonna discuss heat range. So spark plugs have two jobs. The first job is obvious, to create the spark necessary to ignite the air and fuel mixture inside of the cylinder. Now the second job, and the less obvious job, is to pull heat from the cylinder and transfer it into the head where it can be cooled down by the cooling system. So the term colder plug or hotter plug refers to how fast or slow the plugs transfer heat away from the tip. A colder plug transfers heat faster while a hotter plug transfers slower. Now the goal is to keep the cylinder temperatures between 550 degrees Celsius and 800 degrees Celsius, which is about 1,020 degrees Fahrenheit to 1,470 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this temperature range is cool enough to prevent knock and not melt the plug tip, but still hot enough to burn off the carbon and prevent fouling. For a stock car, uh, or even a car with a full boltons, running a colder plug isn't really gonna benefit you much, if at all. In fact, you'll probably end up with more problems because the plugs will foul and cause misfires. Now, you'll see people reporting smoother revs or better idle after switching plugs, but this is most likely due to plug gap and or plug design differences and not so much from the heat range. And these perceived benefits will soon fade away. So the biggest problem is that running a colder plug when you don't need it is that it's gonna foul up quickly. And this happens because the plug doesn't stay hot enough to burn off the carbon deposits. Now, another common problem is that colder plugs can make the car harder to start when it's cold outside. So in general, you should stick to your OEM heat range until you actually need to run a colder plug. But when will that be? There seems to be a general rule of thumb that states you should go one range colder for every 75 to 100 horsepower additional you make over stock. However, I don't follow that rule because it all depends on your setup. I've seen plenty of high power cars running stock heat range with zero problems. So what I suggest is that anytime you make a change that is gonna increase the cylinder temperatures, you evaluate your need for a colder plug then. Now adding a turbo uh, or a supercharger to a naturally aspirated setup, uh, increasing compression ratio, making big changes to timing, changing fuel types, and adding nitrous, those are a few examples of modifications that can increase the cylinder temperatures. And of course, as always, if your tuner recommends that you go with a colder plug, then you should probably listen. But for a stock car or even a full bolt-on, you're not gonna see any benefit, so don't even waste your time or money. Now, if you do need to get a colder plug, or even a hotter plug, keep in mind there is no universal heat range system. Each plug manufacturer will have their own heat range system. For example, NGK uses a system that ranks colder plugs with a higher number and hotter plugs with a lower number, while Bosch does the opposite. If you're switching plug brands, then you should do some research and find the equivalent heat range for the new brand and keep it as close to your OEM heat range as possible. All right, that's it for this episode. Be sure to subscribe, and if you like this video, click that like button or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.